Okay, we're changing the uh, temperature sensor, uh, coolant temperature sensor on a 2013 Prius. We are here in the hood, obviously. Driver's side, um, part of the engine, right? Here's the engine. This is the driver's side here. Uh, and if you just look down there, I will point to the sensor. You can see it next to that black pipe. It's, let's see. You see it? Ah, nope, that's the pipe. That's this right here. So if you're looking down, it's to the left of this this black pipe right there. It's directly to the left. You can see a wire connection coming out of it. Um, let's see if that good. Let's see there. Shining the light right on it right there. See it? That wire connection coming out right there. That's it. That's what we're changing, taking it out. Here is the new piece. It's an OEM. Please get an OEM. I paid 30 bucks for this part. You can get um, non-OEM for like 10 bucks, but such an important piece, I would go OEM for sure. Okay, so here's the electrical connection. This is how it sits in there, just screws in. 19 inch, you're gonna need a deep socket and a very deep socket, because um, you're gonna need a half inch um, size probably to get deep enough because the, the 3 8 did not w work for me it wasn't deep enough but this does so um and we're going to try to do this without moving anything all right we'll see what happens okay guys i'm going to show you what i did real quick um to get down in there access you are going to do just to remove this little bracket here just take out the screws which are one right there it's a 10 millimeter you see it right there and over here Okay, two 10 millimeter bolts, take off that bracket, and I took a bungee cord and just tied it, pulled back those two orange cords, okay? Took me like five minutes. Um, and that gave me access to down there. Um, so what I did to get that out, um, first of all, to get the electrical connection, is a little tricky, it's a little tight. Um, what I did, I had this thing, because I couldn't get my finger under to the part where you need to push on it. So I took this clamp, actually was able to get it on there, and it, it was just enough pressure to pull that tab up, and I was able to just pull it off. It really took me just a couple seconds, but it took me a little while to figure that out, to find something. So get you one of these clamps, hard clamps, good steel clamps that have a lot of pressure, and you'll be able to get that off. If not, you know, you're going to spend a lot of time probably trying to get that, or if you have tiny hands, you might be able to get it easier than me. My hands are actually medium size, so I don't know. It's, it's up to you, but just get one of these to make it easier. Um, and then I just unloosened it by using just one little extension. I was able to put this down in there on it and it just came right off. I haven't unscrewed it all the way yet, but it is loose. So um, this is accessible and doable pretty easily. Just taking this bracket off, which is minimal. I know, I know a lot of people, what I've seen is they take this whole thing off they take that bracket off. No, you don't need to do that. You have access right here, plenty of room here. There's the electrical connect connection that I took off and I'm just kind of, I just pushed it over to the side for now. Um, I did not empty the coolant because I just did a deep cleans of my system because I had clogged, uh, clog, something clogged in there. Uh, so I had to uh, clean the coolant system out. But So I'm gonna see, curious to see how much coolant comes out. I'm gonna swap the new one as quickly as possible. So if there is a lot of coolant coming out, it, it, it will minimize it. So I'm gonna have that ready right now. Um, I'm gonna see if I can. All right guys, I know you can't really see, but I am unscrewing this thing now. Um, just kinda gotta tell you how much comes out, um, if any. Yep. I hear something down there. Um, Kent was able to get this screwed back on pretty quickly. So I think if anything came out, it's gonna be minimal. Again, people say, oh, you have to drain your coolant before. Uh, no, you don't. Um, you will need to top off though, probably for sure. Okay, I have it on their finger tight now. I'm gonna look under the car. Let's see. Anything come out? Yeah, a little bit, not much. See, there's just a little puddle there. Um, 
very minor amount. So yeah, just need to top off. So you don't need to take cool out, guys. Just a little bit will come out. All right, not a big deal. Um, all right, so now I'm just gonna tighten this back on. Again, I have my half inch wrench here, um, deep socket with an, uh, what is that? Like a three inch extension, two inch extension. It's the smallest extension that I have. Um, and it fit perfectly. Here, I'll show you here. This goes down in there. Let's see. I promise I had this down here just a second ago. <laughs> there we go. See, goes down. It fits this on. I'm trying to film this at the same time. It's kind of difficult. See, that's kind of how it sits in there. See, so you, do, you totally have room. Even if you have a longer wrench, it would be even better. Well, you don't have to mess with it down here. I have a longer one. It's just too big down at the bottom. I just wanted to use this one instead, which works. All right, so now it's snug on there. And now I'm just going to tighten it. See, there it is, nice and snug. I'll stop here. Okay guys, I was able to tighten it, no problem. Easy, electrical connection. Went right went right back on. Ah, where is it? It's down there. Anyway, just pops right back on. There it is. Um, very easily. So there you go. It literally took me about 40 minutes to do this job, guys. Oh, actually I gotta put this bracket on back on. Sorry, it's taken me a few minutes to do that. But simple job, uh, people make this way more complicated. It is, you do, so you gotta have the right tools. Um, I didn't end up using this. I did use an extension here, uh, just to get one of these out, make it easier. Just the, the pivot, you wanna have a pivot um, extension to be able to get down here a little easier to get this bracket off. So you just have common, you know, tool set. Um, magnet, just in case, eh, you know, screw gets lost. Um, I did have this too that helped get one of these brackets off. Um, it's just a long uh, ratchet. Made it a little easier for me. But, but again, yeah, get yourself a clamp. Um, and all you need really is this nine inch, uh, I'm sorry, 19 inch deep socket with the little extension um, to get the, the piece off itself. These are the screws to the bracket, 10 millimeter. And that's it. I think that's all I used. Yeah. So, anyway. Good luck, guys. Um, Till next time.